Hello, welcome to the video, welcome to the channel, I'm SimTwitch and welcome back to Time Splitters 2. So today we're doing Return to Planet X, uh, one that I don't know that well to be honest. Um, I think I've done it once before uh, on this difficulty medium, uh, never done this on hard because I've never beat the previous one on hard. Um, and yeah, if it sounds different I'm now back at home for Christmas. Um, if you watch regularly, if you don't, you probably don't know the difference, uh, but if you go and watch videos around this one, they probably sound different, me being at uni. Wing Commander, you have veered off target. What's your status? Over. Base, the squadron's engaged with the enemy, but I've taken a direct hit. What's your damage, sir? The engine's shaky, but I'll be okay if it doesn't overheat. Uh-oh. Mayday, Mayday, losing altitude. Commander, you just keep that bird in the air. We're sending someone to pick you up. Over and out. So in this one we're playing as Hank Nova, I think it is, and we're mainly fighting off the Mox factions. There's Mesa Mox that are red and Ozor Mox that are green, and I think they're the only major enemies in this one. So I actually had to restart this just because I got lost and I thought I'd missed something out at the very start. Um, so you see this first bit I am rushing through quite quick because I I think I restarted this twice, just, it's such a confusing map, this one, um, or layout, so that's actually near the end of the mission, if you accidentally fall down here, um, you go right back to the start, and I sort of screwed myself over um, by activating them all, um, or uh, alerting them all is a much better way of putting it, um, I nearly forgot about him. So, with these first ones, you barely need any bullets from the sci-fi handgun. Uh, I don't actually know how to change the sci-fi handgun, because um, I believe that's what they're using. You pick up ammo for the sci-fi handgun. They're using, like, green bursts. And they're also using orange bursts, which I was led to believe was the laser gun when I was younger. Um, and even when I played this through again, I thought, if they got the laser gun, uh, as it's called in this game... Uh, you cannot shoot down the UFOs with a pistol I found. Here I got really screwed over the first time I played this. I lost almost all my health. Um, a, it's one I don't know very well. Um, and yeah. B, I'm not that good when I don't know what I'm doing. Um, you'll see... Uh, there I was trying to shoot the UFO through the plant, but the plant is apparently rocket proof uh, and does not move. Uh, that's to be expected in games this old. Uh, I think it's 20 years old now at least, this game. It might even be as old as myself. Um, not that I'm much older. Um, but yeah, th this mission... I think I'd enjoy it more if I got to know it better. I think I ran out of ammo there, that's why I was using up the rockets. And they're a real pain when they get close. Um, you see I've lost nearly all my armour that I picked up just before this section. Doesn't help that my bullets are wayward. Um, I think you can shoot down the UFOs, but it does take a really good shot to do so. Um, he took a lot more bullets than I thought he would. Um, yeah, that opens up the gate behind you so you've repelled the beach attack. Some of the guns don't align for the UFOs very well. These two up here. And the other one, that's the one I used in the first run through of this. I got stuck. What happened here? I think I just, I don't know, I don't know what I did. Um, yeah, so here there's like some bees or wasps. I found 
the best way to do it is to plant one of the plasma grenades just in that bit there in the entrance and you see that got rid of all of the bees there um, but I think it's this nest here that's the bigger worry because that sort of covers off the entrance and then I go and miss every single one of these grenades there I put it up there which I don't think gets any of them um, yeah, it is awkward trying to do this. I don't think that even gets them all this time. So I'm left with like one bomb. Um, and I still think this doesn't get them all. No, it got none of them. So I basically waste my whole plasma also life in dealing with the bees. Um, I think I eventually swapped the sci-fi handgun. Um, yeah, the they're tough to get these bees they sort of they seem like they're buzzing back and forth but they're not and if you were to try and track them it'd be really difficult I was hoping that the sci-fi handgun just bounce around and eventually hit them um, but I think I hit them all direct there it was him I was, I was ready for him but I wasn't I was aimed at the wall here yeah, recovering the armor that I lost. This bit's also quite tough. So here you pick up the second half of the homing launcher. Um, so that is one of the Mesomox UFOs. I don't think it's the one that we ejected from in, in the introduction. Or at least it doesn't look like it when you're inside it in a minute. Um, so yeah, they spawn... Mesomox, the red ones at the edge of the cliff. You see that they've got plasma auto rifles now, which are much stronger. Uh, the green laser, I think, is the UFO itself shooting them. Um, and in in the uh, introduction sort of thing, it said, "Don't worry, the Mesa and Ozomox clans are more interested in shooting each other." Uh, I tried that, and it didn't really work. Um, even when they are both present, they do still come after you rather than um, going after each other, which is kind of annoying. You can see that they take a lot of getting now. Um, I am only using the sci-fi handgun, that's because I didn't have any more of the plasma auto rifle bullets left really. They, they're not bullets, I don't know what you'd call them, energy cells. Um, you see there, Ozomox fortunately runs off the other direction, but the Mesomox are really after you. Um, this bit I find really confusing, look, he instantly came in. Uh, so you have, you have to go through the big gap, I thought you'd just go through any gap in the first time. So here, we're getting shot in the back. Um, I accidentally clicked back in. So yeah, you come out there and then you have to walk all the way around and then all the way back round. Um, so here you're now looking at the cameras where you're meant to go later and this is the part that I couldn't find. I got to where the first camera shows and then I couldn't find the rest of it. Um, so then I go through and switch them off. I don't know if you leave them switched on what happens, I don't know if that alerts people or not, I don't know. Um, so you get the checkpoint when you drop through the bottom of the ship. Um, and then there's two ways to go, he followed me all the way. Um, so there's him, I got very lucky not to uh, activate them, even here I'm confused as to where to go. Um, so I know there's one round here now, an Ozor Mox there, and another one instantly spawns in. Um, we missed him, unfortunately. Uh, I'm not a great shot, as you probably guess if you've been watching the series throughout. So there, I, I completely miss aligned that. I think yeah, there is a, another armor there. Fortunately, medium is very generous with the armor they give you on. Uh, Hard mode, there's one piece of armor and it fills half the way. Um, it is really a step up. Uh, and that's why I couldn't beat it on Chicago. I just 
didn't have the quality to uh, beat it. So we go up through here, um, and then I think you pick up some homing rockets. When I did this initially, I tried using the plasma auto rifle here, I just went all out with the rockets eventually. Um, so it doesn't take a lot of shooting with the auto rifle. Then some Mesomox spawn in, they seem to be far more aggressive than the ones that I'm going to target. Um, and more spawn in as you get them. Um, and then it's more getting the ones that there's more of is what you want to do you want to team up with the ones that have the majority he went straight for the um, plasma auto rifle he unfortunately didn't get locked onto it may have locked from someone behind um, but there you see the plasma auto rifle really does destroy your health and armor if um, if you're not careful and they, they go looking for it if they spawn with the um, if they spawn with just the handgun they do go looking for it which I didn't expect them to do I've not seen that in any other mission um, but yeah there I, I think that might be a sci-fi handgun he was using but I don't know how to change its mode um, like if you press the alternate fire it does nothing uh, so they this is where you're meant to go this is what I couldn't find it's a tiny hole in the wall I probably should have shown it off a bit better when I did it uh, so this is the bit he was looking at you from uh, and then you saw there there's a mop coming down the other path um, so this path's alright then he leans out for you which is nice that reveals that and then somewhere around here there's bees again, yeah. Um, and they didn't get me much, but if they do get you, they get you a lot. Uh, so I'm going to really try and avoid them as best as I can. I didn't know where this bit led to. Um, it leads right back near the start of the mission, I think. Um, I believe this takes you before the beach attack. Um... Yeah, I, I can't remember how far back this takes us. I think this is the start of the level. Uh, so that's the guns that you look at. And yeah, so th this must reveal itself. Uh, unless I'm a massive idiot and you could have actually done, like, just gone through. Um, and here I was worried about the bees again. So I went back in there thinking maybe that was the way to go. Uh, yeah, I. I spend a lot of time getting lost here. Um, like multiple people have told me to get lost throughout life, and uh, I obliged here. Uh, I went all the way back. Yeah, sends you back there. I didn't notice the bees above that previously. Um, so we're now going to go on a roundabout way around here. Um, so yeah, more of the story. Try and find the right path. I don't know. This. Uh, this really didn't go well for me, this is I think the third attempt I'd had at this mission uh, and I got lost every single time, it doesn't help that the walls, they sort of all have the same texture uh, so you're never too sure where you are in this one uh, at least like Chicago I know my way around, Notre Dame I know my way around and there's still some spawning here ready to get you um, Siberia, I very much know my way around that one. Uh, next up, Neo Tokyo. I semi know, I think. I think I'd know that one better than this one. Um, then there's ones like Atom Smasher, I don't know. The Aztec, I kind of know. Um, I'll go and look at the cameras for some reason. Um. And then, yeah, we're going to try and make our way back. So, yeah, we're now back here. 
Um, and we are going to go straight up here. Where are we? No, we're going to look at the bees. And spend probably two minutes taking pot shots at them all from down here. Um, and yeah, I think you are much more accurate with that little... Um, what's it called? Crosshair. I forget it in every video. I mentioned that I bring up the crosshair in almost every one. Um, I've got it said to toggle rather than like hold. Um, just because that's how I prefer it. It's what I've been used to with the game previous. Um, so yeah, I think we are now going to shoot the rest of the bees maybe. Maybe from over here. Uh, I think more spawn there. Because these weren't here a few seconds ago, were they? Um, and here we are going to spend a while shooting them. So I think the more you backtrack, the more bees spawn. Um, I do not want to waste rocket launcher ammo on them. Uh, so we are going to have to waste the auto rifle ammo, unfortunately. But we are kind of getting them. Uh, it is really tedious. You see, I've wasted 80 ammo on that, 81, uh, which isn't isn't good on like maybe 20 bees no I don't think they've respawned I don't know what I was confused about there um, I do get confused very easily there's actually a gap there I'm going to ignore those bees fortunately they didn't come after me um, and from here that's that's the starting location um, this bit I do not remember whatsoever um, this is the furthest I'd got since maybe 2015 when I did it previous. So I was, I was expecting them to follow uh, there to be someone in the corridors. Um, and then here we're going to enter a massive gun and spend a couple of minutes shooting down UFOs. I saw the objective for shooting down UFOs and uh, yeah, I thought, yeah, of course there's going to be people on the ground trying to shoot me in this massive gun. Um, which obviously there wasn't. So yeah, you can see my shot is uh, horrendous with this. Um, this is a section, I, as I say, I think I've only ever done once previous. Uh, the, the alternate shot that fires like six in a hexagon at once didn't appear to be that good. You can't really tell the difference when I'm firing like that, but you really could when. Uh... Well, it's fire one. It seems to be that effective, and you can't rapid fire it, unfortunately. Um... So I think now we're waiting for that one that I missed. Nope. We're going to miss all of those. Um... You know, th this section has never been very easy for me. I don't find the Gatling guns work that nicely um, in this game. Like the little mounted ones are easier than that big one. Um, but I still don't have much luck with them. So that like opens up there. We're now in those big guns. I don't know if I looked at them. Uh, and then you get shot in the back which is uh, very nice. Uh, so I don't know which gun I was actually in. Um, and this is the base that you looked in with the cameras. Um, so really, if I hadn't gotten lost, we'd probably have finished the mission by now. There's barely any left to go. Um, I was very fortunate not to get shot by him. I don't know what he was doing. So you saw one of the cameras very briefly there. Because um, th there's no big boss in this one, really. Um, so that they're, they're shooting me from there and then I bring out the big guns literally get them with the homing rocket launcher always does does well uh, so we teleport back into a functioning ship time for it goes invisible um, I kind of just ignore him now uh, 
There we go. And then we've got to get to the time crystal, which is in there. Um, and like, yeah, there's a couple of time crystals, but you can kind of just ignore them. Um, and then, it, yeah, I forget that you need to go through that. And uh, that's the end of that mission. So I'm going to leave this one here. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one, although I wasn't very good at it. Uh, thank you for watching to the end. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you in the next one. I hope you have a great day, and uh, bye for now.